I'm Eric Rebeck, Technical Service Manager for FMC. Today I'm standing outside a cornfield in southeast Minnesota to demonstrate the use of yellow sticky cards or sticky traps for monitoring adult corn rootworm populations to maximize the effectiveness of control of those adult corn rootworm beetles with the use of foliar insecticides, in particular Steward EC insecticide. I'll discuss the details of using yellow sticky traps for monitoring adult corn rootworms uh, in, in just a moment. Uh, but first, let's talk about economic thresholds. Economic thresholds are used to determine what population density is, is present and can uh, ultimately cause some economic damage to the crop. When it comes to adult corn rootworms, traditionally uh, those economic thresholds will vary with uh, location and the corn hybrid or variety that you're using. But, but in general, anywhere from 1.5 to 2 beetles per trap per day is going to trigger a grower to go out and make a foliar insecticide application. Now, with Steward EC insecticide, we're not just looking at the number of beetles per trap per day, but we're also looking at how many of those females or what percentage of that population has females that are egg laying. And our timing uh, for most effective management with Steward EC is to time that application when 10% of the population um, has females that are gravid or egg laying. And this of course is gonna reduce then the number of eggs that are laid in this cornfield, thereby reducing the number of larvae causing damage in next year's crop. Before I demonstrate the use of yellow sticky cards for monitoring those corn rootworm beetles, let's first talk about Steward EC insecticide. Now, Steward EC insecticide contains the active ingredient in doxycarb. This is an oxidiazine insecticide, a group 22 insecticide. Uh, it is a very effective compound. Uh, it has very long residual activity, upwards of three weeks or more on adult corn rootworms, as demonstrated by our previous uh, research trials. Uh, it's also gentle on beneficials, so you don't have to worry about causing mite or aphid flare-ups as a result of using this material. Typical application rates for Steward EC insecticide are anywhere from 6 to 10 fluid ounces per acre, depending on pest pressure. We are usually recommending 8 to 10 fluid ounces per acre this year uh, because the uh, populations have been very, very high as a result of uh, a lot of snow cover this past winter. Here's what a yellow sticky card or sticky trap looks like. Uh, first of all, I recommend using the Farrakhan AM no bait trap, so there's no lure or anything associated with the use of this trap. It's purely passively trapping adult beetles based on the yellow coloration and the sticky surface that is on that yellow card, on that yellow surface. Now, taking care not to get stuck on the trap yourself. This glue is very sticky, it can make quite a mess. We're going to apply it to a selected corn plant. Now, again, normally we would not be trapping on the outer border of a corn plant or a corn field, but I am using this uh, plant here to demonstrate uh, how we're going to attach the cards in the field. To attach the sticky card to the corn plant, simply bend it around your target area, fully enveloping the stalk. Take your twist tie, stick it through the pre-punched perforations in the card, tie it off tight with the twist tie. And then attach the tab through the tab receptacle at the bottom of the trap. Now sticky cards are going to be placed in, uh, again, within the field in a U-shaped pattern. We're going to walk in uh, to a marked row. I recommend using a flag or flagging tape, maybe both, uh, to mark the row that you're entering into. Traveling about 100 feet, select a plant, put up your first trap, move another 100 feet, uh, select a plant, put your next trap, etc. Moving in this U-shaped pattern, keeping traps about 100 feet apart. Um, and then we, we 
we recommend a U-shaped pattern so that you're entering and exiting the same uh, side of the field, the same crop border, uh, for ease of sampling. So I visited this field about a week ago to uh, place the first set of traps. And so you've seen, again, I've marked my row that I've uh, been sampling in by using some flagging tape on the outside. I also have a flag, which you may not see uh, on camera, uh, stuck in the ground. Again, I like to use both, uh, one visual uh, above and below uh, for helping mark the rows where I'm sampling. Let's go into the crop and uh, see what we found. This is the trap catch after one week of placing these yellow sticky traps into the field. And I've encased them in plastic just to be able to easily circle the adult beetles that were caught on each trap and then recording the number on each one as well. What we caught in that first week was a total of 77 beetles on six traps over seven days. So when you do the math, 77 divided by the number of traps, six, divided by the number of days, seven, we yield 1.8 beetles per trap. Now this is normally when uh, it would trigger an economic uh, situation, uh, the economic threshold would be reached, and uh, we would want to treat with a foliar applied insecticide. However, the beetles that were caught on these traps, um, less than 10% were females that were actively producing eggs. So when it comes to a proper timing of steward EC application, uh, this would not be the right time. So here are the sticky cards from our second round of sampling, so the second week and it corresponds to actually 10 days after treating with Steward EC insecticide. The uh, cooperator felt the need to treat and so they went out with an eight ounce rate of Steward EC. And so this is about 10 days after application. And recall from our first week of sampling, we had about 77 beetles on six cards, six traps. Uh, that came out to about 1.8 beetles per trap per day. And uh, here we've recovered about 15 beetles total, including a mix of western corn uh, rootworm and uh, northern corn rootworm, and 15 beetles total. And so doing the math, that brings us to just over one third beetle per trap per day, or 0.35 beetles per trap per day. That's a reduction of about 81% 10 days after treatment with Steward EC insecticide. Well, now that I'm thoroughly covered in corn pollen after retrieving those sticky cards from the field, I wanted to discuss a few key talking points about Steward EC insecticide. Um, first of all, Steward uh, EC insecticide, it must be ingested in order to be effective. So the beetles have to take a few bites of, of plant material, but uh, they'll eventually, uh, within a few hours, become very sluggish, kind of intoxicated, um, and exhibit reduced feeding ultimately succumbing and dying as a result of the intoxication uh, from Stewart. Proper timing is essential. We want to make sure that we're getting that product out when 10% of the population contains female beetles that are gravid or egg laying. Proper use rates. Labeled rates are 6 to 11.3 fluid ounces per acre per application. However, uh, in most situations, a 6 to 10 fluid ounce per acre uh, rate will work under heavier pressure, leaning towards that eight to 10 fluid ounce per acre rate. You get long residual control with one application of Steward EC insecticide. Our data shows up to three weeks, possibly a little longer, um, of management of adult corn rootworm beetles. Be sure to check the label for additional information that's gonna help with coverage, especially in a dense canopy for a tall crop like corn. Uh, making sure we have the proper carrier volumes and making sure we need uh, to add an adjuvant. Finally, for enhanced control of the corn rootworm population in a corn on corn setting, follow your in season application of Steward EC insecticide with an at plant application of FMC's Capture or Ethos products the following spring. Contact your local FMC representative for more information about this two-pronged approach for corn rootworm control. For more information on Steward EC insecticide and other effective crop protection pro products offered by FMC, 
please visit ag.fmc.com. This is Eric Rebeck for FMC, signing off. <music>